woodworkers, I've been asked by a few of you to make a video about the Sam Malou style rocking chair. If you follow along with me, I'll show you how to build it from step one right on through completion. I've lined up a few of the rockers uh, that you can see different styles and I'll tell you a little bit about each rocker. Okay, this particular rocker is a petite size. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about how it came about. I was purchasing like this Bastone Walnut and Clara Walnut from uh, Lumberyard, Northern California. And I was leaving, getting ready to leave, and I saw this pile of lumber out in their lumber yard. And I asked the owner what they were going to do with it. He said I was going to burn it. I said, do you mind if I pick through it? He said, no, go ahead. Well, you can build a rocking chair out of four foot and two foot pieces of wood. So this one is what I got out of that. Now I want you to look at this is, this is uh, Myrtle wood. Look at the beautiful figuring in that. This was, he was going to burn up. I, because I got it for free, I decided I would put it together then. It was kind of green. If you look at the seat, you'll notice the, you can see between the boards. The, the ivory I put in there were holidays and I just inlaid those with ivory. But between the boards, they separated a little bit, so to cover the separation, I just grooved between them, so it's hard to, to, uh, to realize that that wasn't on purpose. But I made it green on purpose. I made this about eight, nine years ago. Uh, it stood up pretty well. Now, this one, I just finished not too long ago. This one is Bastone Walnut. If you can see the figuring in that seat, that wood is, uh, that was one piece of wood that I cut into five boards. The, uh, it's, it has the ranch front leg, which is my design front leg on both of these chairs. The uh, headrest is, uh, has ivory on the very ends of it. And I inlaid, uh, I drew a heron and I put glass and inlaid it because I thought uh, that might be an interesting design. The accents on the runners is maple. Good contrast with the dark Bastone walnut. This is about a neutral balance position. This chair most anybody can sit in. This chair is a tiger maple with a burled maple top. This is a real laid-back balanced chair. People, some people sit in it, think they're going to go backwards, but they don't. And this one also has a ranch front leg. It's uh, an interesting chair to make, uh, a maple chair. I've uh, accented this one with darker wood on the runners. This chair is a Clara Walnut chair. This one is made after my crown series and my molded glass. I mold this glass and I put in the crown headrest. This is ebony accent and then ivory and ebony up on the uh, tips. The chair is a little wider. It's uh, almost 25 inches. A good friend of mine came over not too long ago. Big man. It weighs about 400 pounds. That's huge. He was afraid to sit in it. I said, don't worry about it. Sit in it. He sat in and loved it so much that now, just the other day, he came back and he bought my uh, plans and wood from me. He wants to build one. <laughs> so I'll show him how to make it. This one's also accented in uh, maple, the light color wood. This is uh, some pretty wood, but you notice how much lighter the Claro is than the uh, Bastone moment. 
This particular chair is Texas honey mesquite. In fact, the 400 pound guy is from Texas, so that's what he, he bought some of my Texas honey mesquite to make himself a chair. This one is an upright. It's my wife's chair. If you like to read, balance it upright. Uh, also, being a Texas honey mesquite, I had to bow the front legs. If you'll notice, they're kind of bowed. And it has a standard leg on it. The seven back slats, seven back slats on this one, seven on that one. The heron has five black slats. That's what I've been using lately. Five is just as comfortable and takes less time. It's less work for me. So we'll start off with the seat. And if you're on Lumberjocks, if you go to there, I also have the written instructions that are available on there. I've been starting to post that. So the next session will be the seat.